Does this look like the new James Bond movie set? Or is it a simply another metaverse reality? Well, I have to say, sorry to disappoint. It's simply a smart hotel. The first energy positive, carbon neutral, waste free off grid hotel in the world. We truly pushed ourselves from the very beginning to create a vision for the new hotel design and the new building design in order to tackle the issues of sustainability in general, but also all the issues of green gas emissions. But most importantly, we really wanted to challenge the hotel industry to be different and to be a disruptor for the building industry itself. We aim to redefine travel in a way in which we're going to see it in the future. It's a very personal story, like with many others. The hotel started with my business partner through his vision of creating and balancing and saving the Arctic Circle, but also the vision of how we can create a truly off-grid building and it's truly carbon neutral. So four years ago, he went on a personal holiday with his family and completely fell in love with the crystal clear waters and with the blue, deep blue colors <laughs> of the gletscher itself. Well, as it happens, the land was already allocated for developments by the local municipality who wanted to create some kind of a Disneyland adventure park of some sort. So he starts searching who is might be and what we can do actually to stop that. As the universe, it happens, intervenes right in the right moment. And four months later, the owner of the land back then has contacted him and say, well, would you like to buy that? Because I have no idea what to do with it. And so it happens. We then come together and start tackling the issues of what we can create there to both satisfy the local community, the people, as well as everyone else who is involved in this project. But most importantly, how can we protect that pristine nature where it's over there? So we start looking and combine with many various different uh, companies as well. And we just said, we need to design a hotel. That's a given. But how we can make it more interesting, how we can build it for us. So we decided to do a design lab, an incubator, if you like, for future technologies and companies to come and produce all of their new innovations that they want to do. A place to test various different things from building materials to construction methods to food production, wellness, spa, whichever you want to do with it. So it really becomes a true incubator space for innovation. And that obviously put us in a quite a lot of challenge for how we do this and how do we approach the people that we need to work with. But the most important thing is to understand the site where it is. It is located in the second largest gletscher in Norway. And it's the lowest gletscher in Europe, climbing gletscher in Europe, and the only growing one is a fun fact. Uh, the location itself is very important, as I, as I mentioned. We needed to really be able to understand how we can create a true sustainable project there in order to protect that location. And from my personal mind, but also for the purpose of the, of the project, we start looking as to what sustainability truly really means. It's not just water conservation or simply um, alternative energy sources. It's much more than that. So I want to give you some very basic facts, which are quite scary, in fact. Over 40% of the global green gas emissions is actually committed and produced by the building industry itself. The hotel industry alone contributes to another 1% for those green gas emissions. But the worst for most of all is probably the food waste. Over 8% of all food production is going to waste. And actually 8% of all green gas emissions are going to waste, which is a third of the food production. Sorry for that. Being sustainable means more than that. So for us to actually tackle those three main issues, and in particular the food waste, we wanted to design a building that is actually can prove to the world alike and everyone else in the industry that we can do better, we can be better, and it should be better in order to be continue enjoying these beautiful, astonishing places around the world. So how do we do that? It all starts with innovation, obviously, in technology is a key aspect of all of those elements. And one thing that we start looking at and creating from the very beginning is a digital twin. Together with the blockchain technology and digital twin, we've decided to be able and, and able to actually monitor the entire imprint of all carbon neutrality and all the carbon aspects and waste produced from the very beginning, from those, how we source the materials, where we buy it from, how it travels to us, how it's being built, how it's being produced in order then through the operation of the hotel to actually design and be able to offset that entire carbon imprint and become truly carbon neutral.
which brings me to the second innovation that we, or technology, I should say, that we produced uh, together with our sister company, Nokia, which is Net Zero Labs. It's a basically a portable data center technology that allows us to convert and capture the heat produced by the computing in order to fully recycle all the food waste to then create a byproduct that is essentially used for the production of fertilizers for our green farm, food for our animal farms and fish farms, etc. All that creates a true 360 degree holistic circular economy, which is what true sustainability should be. In that effect, that allows us to also to look into this aspect even further, create a true guilt-free travel, as I call it, for all of our guests to come. We will be able to calculate and monitor the entire journey from the moment they send us an email for reservation, calculate the footprint on their flight, their entire stay with us, and then going home and looking at these wonderful pictures. Combining all that footprint of carbon, we then take it and recycle it entirely locally into the hotel itself, which creates them to be fully net zero. By doing that, it really helps us to look at in, in, in carbon neutrality in a very different aspects. And also, that technology allows us to potentially create carbon credits, which in a couple of years' time will be the new NFTs or potentially the new digital technology or digital currencies that people will start trading very quickly, as governments globally now are looking into how that can become a reality. And of course, all that has to be inspired by something, and part of our inspiration has been the very local architecture of the traditional fishermen drying hats for fish and also the traditional cabins in the Nordics themselves. The building is neither land-based or water-based, it's simply floating above, emerges between the water and land, and it's located, we're using the symbol of crab as one of our aspirational elements, that it's neither aquatic or, or, or ground-based. It simply between, exists between the two. The same thing what we do with SWART itself. We've decided to change some of the conditions. We first looked at how we can minimize the actual footprint and, and the, the base of the building in order to avoid any um, major impact on the seabed and the land itself. Well, initially we were looking into the more traditional aspects of things, but then we discover a technology uh, of a local company that are using in some of the floating platforms in the North Sea, which is actually a low carbon platforms that can submerge as a foundation, so the building is actually anchored to those platforms. So we actually have a zero impact on the seabed as well as on the land, and the building is simply floating, merging between the, land, the line of land, uh, land and water. Fun fact, the actual size of the building, the inner circle, is the size of a stadium. So I don't know how many times bigger than this is. But it's, that was also driven by the need of our, of our need to create electricity. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is the first energy positive hotel. That means that we're actually going to produce more electricity for the entire lifespan of the building and actually the building itself needs to be built and operate itself. How we do that, you'll say it's Norway, it's dark, people get drunk, they get commit suicide, God knows what else they do, right? Well, one forgets that it's over seven months of the year, there's above 20 hours of sunlight in Norway. It has the ability to capture so much of that energy that's going completely to waste, and that's exactly what we're doing. We, the, all the surcharge or surplus of that energy we, will be used for the operation of the hotel itself, but also for the charging of our electrical boats, which we use, will be used for transfer gas from the airport to the building itself, as well as our green farm to charge our animal farm and all the other activities that we are going to be doing in the operation of the hotel itself. There's many other aspects that we looked into the, to the building itself. We capture all the heat produced by the human being ourselves, by being guests in the building. We capture all the food waste created from sewage, toilets, the, the heat produced by kitchens and the spine, converting it all back into the, into the electrical system and the operation of the hotel itself. We truly don't want to see any single waste of the energy that's been produced in the building itself. Which brings us directly into the more holistic journey. We want to make sure that entire vision, if you like, for uh, experience has to be transferred to the person itself, the user, the people who are actually going to utilize that building. So we've created Svar Touch. a very different concept, in a way, that it's a wearable technology that allows us to monitor every user and everybody in the building, their physical, mental, physical, even 
if you like, social aspects in order to create a truly bespoke experience of their creating their menu for the needs of their um, body needs and their mental needs and creating their particular treatment aspects to be entirely designed for what their actual body system requires. How many of us have actually been truly honest to the doctors when we go there and tell them how many drinks you had last night and, you know, do you do this? And going to the spine, you have slightly uncomfortable things. So me as a man being asked if I'm pregnant or not. Well, none of those things are going to be happening here. What we wanted to do is actually create a truly holistic experience for our, our guests. From the moment of their arrival, they'll be met with a welcome health concierge. We will take them through the entire journey, allow them to experience and create true value for wellness and do these changes in their day-to-day -day experiences through the hotel. But more importantly, what we want to do is at the time of checkout, we want to create a bit of an educational process. We want to show them, to all of them, how we can actually change their ongoing lifestyle, how can they can change their living as a normal person outside of the hotel itself. We'll be able to showcase them and collecting through the data collected and through the modification of the food menu and the treatments they're using, the adventures they're doing, the lights in the bedrooms, the sound, the smell that they're going to experience, to see how actually their overall wellness have improved by staying with us for the period of time that they stayed with us. We'll be able to provide them with the ongoing programs and coaching and sessions if they choose the like to do that for us in order to get them to become a better in their lifestyle and wellness, which by default, will create a better planet itself. And in that sense, we truly want to be smart to be a building, a space for true innovation, a lab for people to come and truly engage with what innovation and sustainability means for, for everyone and how we can protect the planet. Well, in two years from now, all of us could experience the future of travel. Thank you. <laughs>